most suitable site for the main stadium was far from resolved. In 1952, the IOC was advised of a change in venue. Prince's Park, home to Carlton Football and Cricket Clubs and complete with resident horse, would now be the official site. A new state-of-the-art stadium would be built, capable of seating 125,000. The design brief at that time was approved by a body called the Executive Committee for the Olympic Games, chaired by Melbourne businessman Arthur Coles. In covering the release of the new plans, Movie Tone compared the modest facilities at the Carlton Ground and the undeveloped parklands nearby with the impressive stadium and logistics at Wembley for the 1948 London Games, questioning whether similar facilities could be provided within four years. With state government intervention, the main stadium site was changed again in January 1953, testing the IOC's patience to the limit. To minimise the threat of losing the Games, the organising committee commissioned the DOI to film the various stages of preparation completed by December 1954. The logistics were daunting to say the least. A dozen different sites had to be prepared for competition some requiring only minor preparation, like the fencing venue, the St Kilda Town Hall, or the exhibition building, in which the weightlifting and wrestling competitions would be staged. In contrast, the MCG, which was finally confirmed as the main venue, needed complete resurfacing and a major new grandstand. Prime Minister Menzies inspected the construction site with new organising committee chairman Wilfred Kent Hughes and his deputy Lewis Luxton. The three-tiered Olympic stand, when finished, would provide seating for 40,000.